In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Corel Draw's Symmetry Drawing Mode, a powerful interactive tool that allows you to easily create symmetrical illustrations and designs. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial, along with a sample design file, so you can try out the steps yourself. To get started, in a new document, control click anywhere on the page and select Create New Symmetry. A mirror line will appear down the center of the page, and the Symmetry Properties bar will appear in the top left corner of the screen. Mirror lines have the same properties as regular guidelines in Corel Draw. You can click and drag to slide it across the page, or click it again to enable rotation. To center the mirror line again, just hit Shift P. In this example, we're going to recreate a couple design elements from the sample file included with this tutorial. We'll start with the gear graphic from the logo. So now that we've already created a new symmetry, we'll go up to the Symmetry Lines spin box and increase the number of symmetry lines to six. Now to center one of our mirrors, or the space between two of our mirror lines, we'll change the symmetry angle to 15 degrees. Now anything we create within one symmetry mirror will be replicated in every other symmetry mirror. For example, we'll select the rectangle tool and hold down Command and Shift and drag the mouse to create a perfect square within our top symmetry mirror. That square will automatically be reflected across each mirror line. Now if we want to center the squares within the symmetry mirror, we'll hit Shift P to center them in the middle of the page then holding shift, we can click and drag our original square upwards back into the top symmetry mirror, and the rest of the squares will follow suit within their respective mirrors. Now to replicate the gear from our sample image, we'll want to turn these squares into trapezoids. So with our original square selected, we'll go to Object, Add Perspective. Then holding down Command and Shift, we'll click one of the bottom corners of the square to add perspective equally to each side of the rectangle. This, and all other effects, will also be replicated within each mirror. When you're done creating the symmetrical aspects of your graphic, click Finish in the Symmetry Properties bar. This will allow you to treat the entire symmetry you just created as a regular object. Once you click Finish, the Properties bar will change to show three options, Break Link, Remove, and Edit. Clicking Edit will open up the Symmetry Properties bar again. Remove will delete the symmetry lines, and therefore the mirrors, restoring your original object. Choose Break Link to keep the mirrored objects without continuing to create symmetries. These three options are also available by control clicking on the object. Now once you break the symmetry link, you can ungroup the objects to enable editing of the individual objects within your symmetry. Now that we've created all the symmetrical aspects of the gear from the sample image, you can use Corel Draw's other design tools to add other shapes, depth, and color to match the original design. Symmetry Mode even works with more graphically intensive tools like artistic media. To demonstrate, we'll recreate the flames from the sample file. You can follow along using any artistic media brushes you have to get a feel for drawing in Symmetry Mode. So first I'll get rid of those flames, then we'll control click and select Create New Symmetry. We'll go over to the toolbar, select Artistic Media, then choose a category and a brush stroke to work with. You can always install additional artistic media brushes by going to Help, opening the Welcome screen, and then selecting Get More from the menu. Once you have your artistic media brush selected, use it to draw a design on one side of the symmetry line and see it mirrored as an outline on the other side. To view the full mirrored object, toggle the Object Outline button in the Symmetry Properties bar. Once you're happy with your artistic media design, click Finish Editing Symmetry, place your drawing where you want it within your design, and then click Break Link. And now you know the basics of Symmetry Drawing Mode. Use it to speed up workflow and increase accuracy when creating symmetrical designs. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial, along with a sample design file, so you can try out the steps yourself.